What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get popular in Scratch. Now this is a really good video. This is after all my years of experience on Scratch, so I hope you enjoy. Now this is not like a troll video like one of those I made that a bunch of people got mad at me for. Now this is a real way that I grew above 400 followers, and today I'll be showing you how to do it. Now before I start this video, more than 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you could subscribe, that would really help. And soon I will be also creating a starting scratch series, so if you're new to scratch, make sure to subscribe to that. And sorry for all this long 35 second intro, let's get right onto the video. First thing I'm going to say is I've been a scratcher for three years, and in the first year of me doing scratch, I really didn't grow at all. I was mainly only doing tutorial books, and how to, I was just learning how to code then, I wasn't really thinking about getting big. In my second year of scratch, I wanted to get big. I started making this game called Lava Quest, and I was stuck at around 50 followers. And then I started doing these tips and tricks and stuff, and this really helped me blow up. So the first thing I did was, my profile picture used to be some random picture that you would find. So probably like this random guy right here. And here's what I did. Like this think art person right here. I just made it at S for Sam Cheese. And now I have a moving GIF picture. If you want to learn how to do that, since there's no comments or info cards, in the description there will be a video called How to Make... Um, your profile picture move or GIF image so check that out there's two parts to that and it's really helpful I think it really shows you that you are a good scratcher next thing I did was I actually used to have a moving feature project too I'll link that in the description how you can get this feature project page to move and to be unshared so when they click on it it just says whoops our server is scratching our head we cannot find that project also, it moves just like my logo, and here's what I did. I told them what I posted, how often I posted, and why you should follow me. And I think that got me some followers. Next thing I did is I actually, since I'm inactive on Scratch, I changed these up. But while I'm still active on Scratch, I actually did About Me. I did it for real. I didn't put, oh, follow me, please, right now. I actually talked about what I did, what I made, um, how I will collab with anyone if they want to, you know. And I also updated what I'm working on. That really helps. That gives people a good reason to follow you. Like I just said there, you should really collab with people because then you do a follower trade. So if I go to my eighth page of followers here, I actually collabed with a guy called Nielsen04. I actually collabed with a bunch of these people. So Nielsen04 right here, we actually collaborated on my Fruit Ninja game. So I originally made it. He made some changes to it. And now the, the game's updated to Fruit Ninja version 2. But there's the version one that we originally worked on. Now, if you're wondering how I made all these books, I actually have a scratch book, which I learned all this stuff. I've gone through eight, like, 300-page scratch books. That's how I got good at coding. And I based my tutorials off my knowledge of those books. I don't really directly copy tutorials from those books. Next thing I would also do is I learned how to make thumbnails. So if you're wondering what a thumbnail is, it's, you know, when you click on a project, you should have a good reason to click on it. So, for example... This Lava Quest 3 one, it just highlights Lava Quest 3, shows all the characters on screen. So the Servivio Battle Royale used to have a really good thumbnail, but then I updated it and I had to go, so I just quickly press Save Now. When you press Save Now, that's the thumbnail for the game. So if you're wondering how to make a thumbnail, I have a link in the description. So you see this game called Brick Breaker right here? This can get a lot of clicks if, you, if someone looks up Brick Breaker on Scratch. Because, wow, they're like, this looks pretty fun. It's got, you know, highlighted, it shows you know, the game being played, and for example, Pixel Basketball did pretty good. The thumbnail is hard to read, that's why I don't recommend doing this text in that I thought looked good, because you can barely even read it. Like Brick Breaker, you should be easily to read it, and you should have a good reason to click on it. Next thing that really blew up was how to animate thumbnails. Link in description, because that is actually an insane project. I love doing those projects. I should make more animated thumbnail project games. This tutorial blew up with more than 1,400 views, over 80 likes, 71 favorites, you know, because how to how to do this, how to do that on Scratch really blows up. Tutorials blow up. Some blow up on YouTube, some don't. So, actually, this is uh, how to animate thumbnails, but another one of my projects that blew up 
which I'd recommend checking out if you want to. Link will be in the description again, so I keep on saying that. If I go to my stuff, if you're wondering how to see your most viewed project, I will quickly show you guys here. So, my most viewed projects are basically only tutorials and a few of my popular games. So, if you're wondering how to get your most viewed projects first, sort by views. As you can see, my number one project is How to Follow Yourself. Link will be in the description on how to do that, like I said. This has over almost 3,000 views. It has over 150 likes and favorites. This blew up. So my Survivio game also blew up. I should probably update the thumbnail because that did really, really well too. Love a Quest, Hard Platformer, blew up. The thumbnails, this had a good thumbnail. That, that's when it got the most clicks. So how to get likes. Another tutorial just showing an arrow pointing to the like button. That actually worked really well if you're wondering how to get a quick way to get likes. Lava Quest 2, blew up. How to make a hack block. How to, again, blew up. Scratch Dress Up, cool game. Featured project, that's why this blew up. But Fruit Ninja is really fun, version 2. But I'm just saying here, tutorials do really well in Scratch. I'd recommend doing tutorials. I remember when I would get barely any Scratch notifications a day. But I bet you I bet you guys already do this, but always reply to all your comments. So actually, I haven't replied to a few comments up here, but every single comment I try to reply to, um, as you can see, I've replied to all of these. And this was two days ago. I should probably reply to all of these comments right now. Um, I'll do that after the video. While we're right here, I recommend, you know, keeping a nice, clean studio. So don't join these random advertisers for studios. If you want to, that's fine. But I just made a followers group, which makes more people want to follow you because then they can just put their projects up there. I actually have a bunch of people. Only thing is, you have to invite people every time you get a new follower. And I forgot to do that for uh, ever since 100 followers, so I just invited everyone. But, so if you want to follow me and be in this group, check it out. Follow me on Scratch. Anyway... I was also in Happy Birthday Scratch, so I highlighted that, I followed it, I make sure that my most important studios about my achievements are right there on Scratch rather than some random studios. So DIY Studio, another big studio that was featured. This is my friend's studio, that's why I'm in it, I'm a follower of him. And then I saw this World Languages chick where you couldn't unfollow this guy, so that's why I'm following him. But I'm just following myself and Rogeroy57. Like I said, how to follow yourself, link will be in the description. And I actually got pretty popular using a Scratch-related event. So before, when you logged in, because I've been using Scratch for a while, Scratch actually had a happy birthday event. And it would pop up right here at the top of your page. It would be like, Scratch's happy birthday. You know, make a card and add to the studio. I actually became a creator of that studio, and I kind of blew up because I was a creator of the studio. I got a few flowers from that, too. I'd recommend doing anything scratch related because your project can really blow up. I've seen some small scratchers that made them a card. It got about, you know, 10,000 views because it was in the studio. And they went from barely any followers to 1,500. It was insane. So I'd really recommend participating in any scratch event. Next thing I really recommend is a thing called Scratch Discuss. If you don't know what this is, there used to be a tab up here, and what would happen, it was actually a thing where you could share project ideas, and it's still up, there's just no tab. So this will also be in the description, but this really helps you get pretty big. So you can show and tell your projects, so you can collaboration. This is where you can get some good followers on this form. So these are all a bunch of forms, right? And you can go through these, and the titles explain them to themselves so basically the more posts you have it says it talks about your posts I've I was actually in a thing called a shop where you would make people thumbnails for projects and profile pictures for free I would use stuff like Canva which is a free online editor for pictures and stuff which looks pretty cool so you can join those you get followers by doing that too uh, one thing I really recommend if you're going to get into Scratch Discuss, you can probably look it up. I'll make a video on that soon. If I do, it will be in the description. So when you're watching this, I have so many t tutorials in the description that really help your Scratch account grow. So one thing, I, like I was saying, change your signature. If you click on this, um, so whenever you type a post, so let's say you're writing, oh, I would like to collaborate with you. There's going to be a line, and below that, you will have your signature. So for example, I put uh, my URL, your Scratch profile, so they could easily click on it and follow me. I, so basically what it says is I put an image I think of my profile picture, and if they click on it, it bring them to a page to follow me. So this is actually really helpful. So right here is the description of what it is. You can guys read that if you want, pause the video, you know. But that really does help. 
I will probably make another video on this once I found something new that will get me a few followers. But those are the tips that I know to get. I don't know, even know how many followers I know. I've been checked in a while. But these are the followers I have right now by the time I'm making this video. 464. This is what really got me to blow up. Blow. This is what really got me to blow up. So as you can see, so many people have moving profile pictures. And like I said, I will have that down in the description below if you want to learn how to do that. Mine's pretty simple. It's not too crazy. But yeah, guys, I might make another video on that. Like I said, description will have all the videos I talked about today. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Come like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.